Dr. Thomas Horn and others uh, speculate on this, how something like this might happen with, with regard to a pandemic. Again, in true Hegelian style, you know, Hegelian dialectic is where you cause a problem which causes a reaction that you just so happen to have the solution for already ready to go, right? So, okay, it, it, just imagine this. They release, they, whoever they are, <laughs> they're responsible for everything, right? Release a really bad flu pandemic of some sort. Well, imagine this. If you don't get the shot that they've got all ready to go for you, no shot or cure means, well, you don't have a job. Somebody mentioned last night their job requires them to take the flu shot. If they don't get the flu shot, they lose their job. So we're already seeing kind of a microcosm of that happening right now, a test. Got to take the shot. You can't, you can't be a teacher in school or you can't work at CVS or whatever. You got to take the shot. So they're already making it mandatory for some people. So we've got a little miniature test going on with that. If you don't take it, there's no cure, no job. You end up being quarantined. Oh, you, 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 don't have, you don't want to take the shot? You don't want to take what really I believe is going to be the mark of the beast? Well, fine, you're going to have to be quarantined, bring you over here. Well, that means you're not going to have any money, which means you won't be able to buy or sell. That seems to be a good explanation to me to explain why they can't buy or sell, but also explain why they beg for death, but death flees from them because they can't die, right? So that's if you don't take the shot, you end up with no job, quarantine, no flu, but, or, or no food, no buying or selling. Uh, but if you do take the shot, well, you have some interesting side effects. <laughs> it's like those commercials, you know, where you always see the drug that they're offering. You know, side effects may include drowsiness, blah, 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 you know. <laughs> take the shot. Side effects may include counterfeit immortality, not redeemable, and cast alive into the lake of fire. Ask your doctor if it's right for you. <laughs> All right, you know, I'm, I'm joking about it, but it's serious. That's some serious business right there. And there's going to come a time, especially if we're going through this thing, where some tough decisions may have to be made. When you're looking at your kid that's got this pandemic that they released, and they've got this cure over there, but you heard this stuff, and the Holy Spirit's telling you, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Don't inject your kid with the mark of the beast. Well, we're going to have to, like, work on that strong faith thing and believe in God and trusting in him you know we believe the bible to be the inspired the only infallible authoritative word of god and inerrant in the original writings we believe that both the old testament and the new testament work together as a whole revealing yahuwah's divine plan for mankind we believe that there is one god yahuwah who is the father of an only begotten son yeshua aka jesus and has sent his holy spirit to empower comfort and encourage us in our walk with him. We believe in the deity of our Lord Yeshua, Jesus Christ, in his virgin birth, in his sinless life, in his miracles, in his vicarious and atoning death through, the, uh, through his shed blood, in his bodily resurrection, in his ascension to the right hand of the Father, and in his personal return in power and glory. Probably in the not-too-distant future, I might add, we believe that the lost and sinful man must be saved, and that man's only hope of redemption is through the shed blood of Yeshua, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. We believe in the spiritual unity of believers in our Lord Yeshua, Jesus the Messiah. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God.